Hello and welcome to this screencast. I am going to present the RobuScript programming language. RobuScript is a simple command language that gives developers total control over the semantics of the commands they define. It also gives control over the execution flow of scripts, that is, commands can be executed synchronously or asynchronously, scripts can be paused, stored on a stack, and retrieved later on to resume their execution. First, let's go through what is displayed on the screen. At the top left is a 3D simulation of a Robosoft RobuLab 10 platform. This simulation contains a map of the current environment as well as named locations where we can send the robot to. These locations are listed at the bottom right of the screen. We will use a camera that is attached to the robot so we can follow it while it is moving. At the bottom of the screen is a window where we can display log messages. Next, at the top right is a script editor. The leftmost window of the editor application shows the current state of the interpreter with a set of indicators. The rightmost window of the editor is a set of commands available for controlling script execution. They operate on the interpreter state that is shown to the left. Let's open a simple script. Here is a script with a few commands that will be executed synchronously. It tells the robot to go to some location and wait a little before going to another location. I will now click the load button to load the script into the interpreter. Pressing the start button starts the script. In this example, commands are executed sequentially, but they could be executed in parallel. It is up to the developer of the script runtime to decide how commands are executed. I will now push the current script on the stack so that I can resume it later on. Now that I have saved the current script state, I can open and load another script in the interpreter. The second script is similar to the first one, only it sends the robot to different locations. While it's running, I can write another script on the fly just to send a stop command to the robot. I will run this command as a script and the robot stops. I can now retrieve the first script that I pushed onto the stack and resume its execution. As you can see, the first script is resumed where we left it at. That's it for this screencast. RobuScript is open source and available for download at robubox.com. Thank you for watching.